There is a reason why engines are typically mounted with the head up and crankshaft down in the vast majority of applications. There is that 0.1% of cases engineers felt the need to invert the tried and true concept, which at the first glance seems like a ridiculous idea. The number 32, a three cylinder 2 liter motorcycle, is one of those cases, inspired by the vintage war aircraft fighters. The stubbornness of its creator brought this inverted idea to many headlines, representing a completely new approach to a sporty motorcycle. Daniel Sabatini, the owner, designer and design consultant of Nembo Motociclette, delves seriously into the motorcycle's center of gravity and mass centralization. He studied that while an automobile benefits from the lowest possible center of gravity, thanks to its stable four-wheeled platform, a motorcycle's mass system is unstable and variable because it is in balance only thanks to speed. In addition, there is the rider who continuously moves himself, changing the position of the center of gravity of the system. A superbike tends to have a higher center of gravity, which helps it lean down, but at the same time makes it harder for the rider to stand up. Sabatini's solution was to find the perfect balance and place as much of the heavy mass in the center as possible. Sabatini's inspiration was the 1930s fighter engines from Daniel Benz that were also turned upside down. The DB series was inverted for visibility reasons, lower center of gravity, easier service access, no exhaust glare at night and the cannon placement routed through the propeller hub. The Nemba motorcycle accommodated a very different benefit, but at the same time, it is crucial to be aware of the downside. The Nembo is in fact born from my will to increase, as never before, the centralization of the masses of a motorcycle by placing the engine upside down and using the engine block as a chassis to bolt to front and rear end and any other part without involving the cylinder block. The core of Sabatini's project is the engine flipped upside down, as most of the weight and strength lies in the crankcase. It isn't merely an existing engine placed upside down. Several key elements must be considered when creating such a unit. Gravity works against it, making the oil system fundamentally different from a regular engine. It requires a separate dry oil sum tank, multiple pickup points and a thorough for design of the oil galleries to introduce the lubricant where needed and prevent pooling where it is not. To add interest, an exceptionally large three-cylinder engine was chosen, crafted from billet aluminum. The prototype used a 1.8 liter, but the production versions were projected in three variants with the same 77 mm stroke. A 160 horsepower 1.8 liter with a 100 mm balls, with a 3 mm increase, a 1.9 liter delivering 200 horsepower, and the real beast boasting a 107.5 mm bore and a 250 horsepower from a 2.1 liter displacement. Peak performance occurs just before hitting 8000 rpm, making it the highest driving upside down engine globally. Initially, there is a massive amount of torque on par with the Triumph Rocket 3, peaking at 220 Nm at 5500 rpm from a 2 liter variant, albeit with a much higher power level. Considering the dry weight of just 160 kg, this engine is more than sufficient for this lightweight machine. Fundamentally, the engine is simple and employs an old-school type of cooling by air and oil. It is also unusually turned 180 degrees, with the intake at the front to benefit from the cool air coming towards the engine. With the exhaust M to the rear, it keeps the hot parts away from the rider's legs, without unpleasant effects of heat in the rider's seat. The valve train consists of a single underhead camshaft driven by a chain and gears acting on two valves per cylinder. 
Sabatini placed emphasis on the engine layout and overall beauty of the motor, which the lack of water cooling definitely provides along with weight and simplicity benefits. This concept of an inverted engine has no real advantage other than the obvious. In the case of aircraft fighters, it was vision and cannon placement. The Nembo benefits from mass centralization and perhaps heat separateness. That's it. Lubricating an inverted unit is an incredible challenge as gravity works against everything and oil can seep through piston rings into combustion chambers. Interestingly, the inverted V12 had to have a low compression ratio on a single bank due to uneven oil consumption per bank caused by the crankshaft motion. In aircraft radial engines, it is standard procedure to remove bottom spar plugs to let the oil out. Unfortunately, Nembo does not provide details about the challenges they had to overcome and the technology used to develop this engine. They only say that it uses an innovative dry sump oiling system with a double row to scavenge pump, thanks to which it can rev beyond 8500 rpm, which is truly amazing. The Nembo 32 is not intended to be a pure track bike. It has been developed as a fun street roadster, built for the absolute best possible enjoyment and feeling of the bike's performance. The company asserts that the only way to make the bike fast, small, lightweight and agile in turns is to turn the engine upside down and keep the bulk of the mass in the smallest possible circle. This design also introduces chassis sensitivity, which helps tweak handling with even minor suspension modifications. The company initiated the project in 2009, even conducting fundraising to aid in establishing the production of 100 to 150 bikes a year. Unfortunately, there was no interest and since 2020, there appears to be no activity on their social media platforms. Sabatini deserves great respect for attempting what only a few dare to engineer, an idea that seemed inherently crazy and ridiculous at its core.